Let's get straight into it because at the end of last month, we had South Africa's banking sector lauded by Moody's where it sees a stable outlook for the banking sector in South Africa moving forward. If we go through the year that was, what's your view on the South African banking space? In South African banking, I think um, it's been quite clear that those banks that have been focused on the dom domestic market have done much better than the banks that have ventured outside our shores. Um, that's really reflected if you look at the performance uh, year to date, but the performance of, of Standard Bank and Investec relative to the other major banks, whereby Investec really has been caught in by the whole European crisis and the share price is down close to 18% year to date. So um, being focused on the home market has been um, a real benefit for those who haven't really ventured offshore. Absolutely. And I mean, it's uh, held them in good stead through the headwinds that the market has been experienced and, uh, you know, uh, has been experiencing. Yet we've had Moody's placing the big five banks for review on a possible downgrade after recently cutting its outlook on the debt of the South African economy as a whole. So what do you make of that move? Because it's been criticized by some as being unwarranted. Yeah, obviously, sort of from a capital perspective, our banks are extremely well capitalized. Um, they, they, they've been able to weather the worst of the storm during the financial crisis without even a hint that there would need to be any uh, capital raising. And that's very di a very different picture from what we've seen from the rest of the world, the European banks and the U U.S. banks, which have had to be effectively rescued and have had to raise a considerable amount of capital. So from that point of view, there's not an issue. Maybe the one still uh, niggle is the fact that from a liquidity perspective, um, we're still very much a market which relies on the wholesale funding model. And um, we find it quite difficult to match the term of our asset lending with the term of the funding. And that's uh, maybe the one concern, if we, we would have one. But with exchange controls and the fact that we are a system where deposits can't just readily flow out of our banking system offshore, I think it's a lesser risk than in other markets. What about market risks that are posed by the overall fundamental picture in South Africa? I mean, you've got rising unemployment, tepid uh, credit demand that's been filtering through, and then concerns about the kind of effect we're going to be feeling here in South Africa as a result of a possible recession in the EU. Yes, obviously, sort of any slowdown in economic activity tends to feed through in terms of bad debt. That said, if you look at the last two, three years, the corporate and business sectors have been fairly well behaved. We haven't seen any large headline liquidations or insolvencies, which tend to be re the real shocks to the system. What has been the problem has been the retail over-indebted consumer, especially when it comes to secure lending. And that it has been an issue of, you know, maybe... Um, overborrowing by you know the consumer and the fact that interest rates spiked um, to quite high levels but now with with repo at nine percent which is the lowest level since May 1974 I think the even the consumer is is getting on an even keel so I don't think that we are about to to see another another spike in bad debt over the next year. That seems to be the overall consensus where impairments aren't expected to worsen despite uh, you know, the high household debt levels that we're still sitting with. On that note though, what about the status on unsecured lenders, uh, Patrice, relative to that of uh, the big four? Now, unsecured lending is a very different story because it's been one, the one sector where we've seen advances growth at uh, an extremely rapid pace and there's always um, a risk or, or a fear that when you have such rapid uh, growth in advances that it, it's sort of the start of a bubble or that you know the type of credit scoring um, policies are re have been relaxed too much. Um, so far again looking at the bad debts and the like there's no indica indications that um, the type of loans that have been made have been sort of done recklessly or in a way that, that would uh, cause concerns. 
but I think it's a space to watch because uh, comp competition is, is hotting up. Um, you, you, you only have to look at, at the likes of African Bank, which is a leader in the market, growing its book at, at rates of 35% uh, plus per annum, to say that you know it's, it's now getting quite sizable. It's not a niche of the market anymore. And any mistake could could end up into uh, could land, uh, end up as as bad debt. Well, with that competitive uh, landscape heating up, Patrice, we've got many of the South African banks uh, taking their ventures into the African continent, seeing the opportunity there as well. Not many getting too excited though about the road ahead, and still exercising caution when it comes to investing in the banking sector. What's your outlook as we move into 2012? Yes, I mean, I think in terms of, of growth, a lot of the banks have spoken about um, the, the sort of ventures into Africa. I think there's no doubt that in terms of economic growth rate and the potential to, high, to earn high returns, is, there is potential to do that in the rest of the continent versus South Africa. Um, not that it's easy, as it's been proven by um, Standard Bank, who have struggled lately to make a return, simply because you need critical mass. But I think more and more are we going to see um, our banks venturing out. We've seen already with NetBank and Econet getting mm -hmm. EcoBank getting closer together. Um, First Rand have been um, rumored to have been looking at a number of of opportunities on the continent. I think increasingly we're going to see our banks looking to deploying the surplus capital that they have into Africa. So that's a theme that's going to remain with us over the coming years.